picture? Yes. 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 This is what you call catching a beast horn from your beehive in your own backyard. You need to go wait till next week to split it. Come around here. You can see them crawling up the board here that we had. You can still see some of them were. We, we decided to try this first with no bee suit. That didn't bad work. idea. <laughs> Very bad idea. Right here, you can see where it kind of fell over where we had it stacked up because they were on that tree, which is now there. Right there. This is where it fell over when we started getting our butts handed to us. <laughs> and they've all walked from here, up there, and into that. Now, mm -hmm. This one's got frames in it. This one's got frames in it. This one we put in there just to catch the bees. And we have an inside feeder in there right now. We put a little bit of lemongrass in there. But somehow they say that attracts them into staying there. We've probably got, we're gonna say 50,000 bees in there. And our other hive over there, I cracked the lid on it. It's still full of bees. But what this means is it's still waiting till next Wednesday to order two queens. Um, we're ordering them today. We got to order them this evening so they ship out tomorrow so they're here Monday or Tuesday. And we just got to keep these guys happy until then and put one in there. And that'll give them time to calm down because there was a queen cell in there when we checked it a week ago. And we uh, kind of got rid of that queen cell because we didn't want any more queens in there. And according to last year's operation, we should have split this hive next Saturday. They swarmed a week early than they did last year. A week early, and we were out here dicking around looking at our plants. And uh, Red there said, is that a bunch of bees on that tree over there? And I'm like, oh, crap, we got to go. <laughs> My original plan was to drink beer with a fishing pole. See how that worked out. Damn bees. <laughs> They're slowly working their way yeah. in. So we're going to have to move it from here to back over there, or they're going to think this is home. Orientation bikes. Uh, we just got to do that before we put the queen in, right? Well, if we've got the old queen in there, which we may oh, have. That's right. It'll be a fully functional hive. They just have to sit there and start storing feed and pollen right. and stuff like that. And I've seen a bunch of bees in there have pollen on their legs. I'm just hoping we didn't smush her in the process of it tumbling. That's why I said order two, just in case, because by the time they get here, we should be able to see if she's laid any brood. But this is a lot calmer than what they were uh, 45 minutes ago. Oh yeah. I think we've got the majority of them on the hive or in the hive. There's just a little bit back over here on this tree trunk. Right there. I'll crack the lid here. Yep, they're thirsty. They're down there. We're having a bunch of dead ones. As long as it ain't clean. They're getting thirsty. They can start calling this home. That's what we want. We can always replace the queen. Um, how many's on the ground? Because there was a bunch of them on the ground there's right not, over there. There's not many at all. Okay, so we got that right there, huh? Yeah. We've been slowly but surely taking them up. I don't know. That was, this right here was the original tree, and they were from here, three feet up that tree. A circumference like that. And I knock them off into the bucket. And we dump them in the hive. Alright, we'll be back in a little bit.